Hey guys, what's going on? Glove Save Gaming back here with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss a trade that happened in the NHL a few weeks ago between the San Jose Sharks and the Florida Panthers. So this trade went as follows. The Florida Panthers sent Anthony Duclair to the San Jose Sharks in exchange for Steven Lorenz in a 2025 fifth round pick that belongs to the San Jose Sharks. We're going to take a look at this trade on the San Jose Sharks first. So they're sending Steven Lorenz over to the Florida Panthers. Lorenz was only a member of the Sharks last season. He actually had 10 goals, 9 assists, 19 points. Had a pretty good season, his career high. The two years before that he played in Carolina, he had 13 points and 8 points. This guy was in the ECHL about 5 years ago, so I mean he's made his way to the NHL, producing the AHL and the ECHL. And he looks like he put up double-digit goals in the NHL last year. So hopefully he's continuing to grow. I have him as a 78 medium top nine. Could maybe give him a little bit of an overall boost, but I don't want to make him too high. But he did prove that he was a full-time NHLer last season. I think the Panthers are just trying to get a cheap body in there. He makes $1.05 million for next season. They're trying to get another body in for a guy they lost in Anthony Duclair for cheap money as they're really tight to the cap. They're also sending a fifth round pick in 2025, which I mean doesn't have too much value. To me, it seems like Florida's just trying to unload a little bit of money in Anthony Duclair. Guys this summer, like Evan Rodriguez and some of the defensemen they got in the back end. So from the San Jose Sharks side, I would take this trade in a heartbeat. You're getting a guy who's probably like a middle six type player, can in your top six as well. You can potentially flip him at the deadline, eat half his money. The team's getting him for a million and a half, and he can go on a cup run with Anthony Duclair potentially. So I'd take this trade as the San Jose Sharks, but in NHL 23, I think this is going to get rejected. The trade is rejected. It makes a lot of sense. You're not really giving up too much for him at an 84 overall. So after acquiring Anthony Duclair, the Sharks just added another guy that can play in their top six. I got him playing on the second line with Logan Couture and Fabian Zetterlin. He could definitely play on the first line, though. I got Thomas Hurdle with Barabanov and Kevin LeBanc on the first line. Third line, I got Nico Sturm with Oscar Lindbaum and Philip Zadina. Then the fourth line, I got Luke Kunin with William Eklund and Giovanni Smith. Defense, I got Mario Ferraro playing with Eric Carlson. Matt Benning playing with Mark Edward Vlasic. Nikolai Kanizov playing with Kyle Burrows. Scratches for the Sharks, I got Jacob Pedersen, Redeem Simic, Henry Thrun, Ryan Carpenter, and then Will Smith, who was just drafted by the Sharks. I just added him to this team. And then in that, I got Kapil Kakin and Mackenzie Black. We're going to be fighting for that starter's job. So now taking a look at this trade in the Florida Panthers view. I have Anthony declared an 84 overall. He missed last season due to an injury. He only played 20 regular season games. He had 9 points in those 20 games. The year before that, though, he had 31 goals in 74 games. He hasn't really found a home in this league, it seems like. He did come to Florida a couple years ago, and then he re-signed, obviously, for $3 bucks a season. This, to me, just seemed like they needed to get some salary out to be able to bring in Evan Rodriguez, Oliver ekman Larson. They brought in Mike Riley as well, Dmitry Kulikov. So, I mean, they're really tight to the cap as it is. And apparently on forward, they wanted guys that can more take face-offs as well. And Evan Rodriguez is obviously a guy who plays right wing and center. So, I mean... Sending Anthony Duclair away is definitely not a win for the Florida Panthers, but in, in accordance to getting cap space, it is. And getting a guy in Steven Lorenz, who's not a bad guy to play on your fourth line, maybe play up on your third line. I think that this trade isn't too bad for the Florida Panthers, but I think at the end of the day, the San Jose Sharks are winning this trade. Just like I said, if they're not competitive, they can definitely flip them at the deadline, eat half his salary potentially as well, and you're getting a really cheap guy in Anthony Duclair, who was pretty decent in the playoffs last year at 11 points in 20 games. So, I mean, looking at this from a Florida perspective, I think the San Jose Sharks are no doubt accepting this trade. So looking at the Florida Panthers lines after getting Steven Lorenz, right now I have him centering the fourth line between... First line, I have Barkov with Verhage and Kachuk. Second line, I got Bennett with Lundell and Reinhardt. Third line is Luis Steinen with Nick Cousins and Evan Rodriguez. On defense, they had a little bit of a change this summer, getting rid of Gudis, not bringing back Mark Stahl either. So I got Forsling playing with Montour, Ekblad playing with OEL, Nico Mikola playing with Josh Mahura. Scratches... I've got Mike Riley, Dmitry Kulikov, Anthony Stolarz, Rasmus Asplund, and Will Lockwood. These guys will obviously fight for spots on the team. And then in that, I got Bobrovsky with Spencer Knight. 
All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this video. Going over the trade one more time, it was Anthony Duclair who was sent to the San Jose Sharks in exchange for Steven Lorenz in a 2025 fifth round pick i think the sharks are getting the better end of this deal but florida gets a bit of cap space and they're able to bring in a couple guys there that they were really eyeing thank you very much for watching this video if you haven't had the chance to check out any of my content please go back and do so you can subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss any future uploads